Good morning. It's Good News Friday. There's so much good news and I do short videos so maybe I will have to do a good news week. Uh, there's good news from Greece, uh, UK of course, the US, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Netherlands, you see, Hungary, Poland, that's good news. So uh, yeah, but I decided to talk about Italy today because this is fantastic. But I have one more story and it's from Sweden and it's sort of good news. <laughs> they had this public uh, music award of event you know, on television and one of the winners was this uh, young lady, a lefty. Yeah. And as she accepted the, the award, uh, she attacked the nationalists. Uh, she was screaming on stage. And then she showed her buttocks. <laughs> she did. And I don't know what she thought. The thought was probably she wants to turn people into voting left wing. <laughs> yeah, and turn away from the nationalists by doing this. And it's not working, of course. The people watching this will say, um, you know, I don't want to be in this gang. Uh, this is, uh, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happened. All right, so now Italy. Uh, the background, many of you know this, of course. Uh, after the last, the last election, uh, there was a coalition between La Lega with Salvini and the Five Star Movement with uh, the chairman Di Maio, right? Which meant that Salvini became the interior minister and he did a fantastic job. Yeah, and then this guy Di Maio and the Five Star Party went traitor and turned away from Salvini, pressured from the establishment, the EU and so on. And this Di Maio became a traitor and uh, they started to work together with the, the old Democrat Party who turned Italy into uh, crap. Yeah, so that's what happened. And then this happened, yeah. It didn't work well between the Five Star Movement and the Democrat Party, no. And now Luigi Di Maio, the chairman of the Five Star, has resigned, pressured to resign, uh, because they have lost half of its support, half of it. And also more than 20 MPs uh, have disappeared. Yeah, they were either kicked out or they, um, well, three of them went to the Liga party yeah, to join Salvini. So it didn't work well. People didn't like it. <laughs> Big surprise what they did. They were traitors, of course. So uh, now he resigned. Di Maio. Yeah. This is good. And, uh, you know, Matteo Salvini, the support for him is just growing by the week. It's fantastic to see this. Uh, have big faith in the Italians. They will turn this around again. And we will see uh, Salvini. This is what I think and what I'm hoping for. We will see Salvini as the PM very soon, maybe even. Yeah, it's great what's happening. You know, they are now having uh, regional elections. And there is this uh, election coming up in the region of Emilia Romagna. And it's been ruled by the lefties for 70 years. And now it looks like uh, that a coalition led by the League Party will win. Amazing uh, news from Italy. Don't you ju just love it? It's justice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The revenge of the nationalists. Hmm. Yeah, I have great hopes for Italy and my biggest hope is that they will leave the EU. Yeah. And I think it's very possible. I think the people will demand it. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking forward to. 
All right. Uh, have a good uh, weekend. Be good. Bye.